Hello and welcome to Hydros. Today, I will show you how to add and configure a TDS sensor. Before we proceed to add the TDS meter to the Hydros, let's talk about the cans and the can't do's for the Hydros TDS meter. It monitors your TDS reading using two different TDS probes. Even though the probes are not labeled, probe one is the cable on the left and probe two is the cable on the right. It will automatically read the water quality for five minutes once an hour. One cannot modify this interval. You can manually push the center button in front of the TDS meter to manually trigger the reading. The TDS meter will constantly read for five minutes and then stop until automatically reads again an hour later. All actions, notifications, and alarms are based on probe one readings. Probe two is a monitor only reading. In other words, all outputs can only use probe one reading. The second probe reading is a monitor only and cannot trigger an action. And the Hydros device will display the last reading obtained. It means that after five minutes of constant reading have expired, it will continue to show the last reading until a new one is obtained an hour later or by manually pressing the TDS meter button. Connect the probes to a RODI Quick Connect T. When inserting the probe, ensure that the metal prongs are lined up perpendicular to the T. Take the left cable of the TDS meter and place the probe on the physical output of your RODI unit. It is the output after your DI resin and will monitor the quality of your RODI water as it reaches your reservoir or aquarium. Take the right cable of the TDS meter and place the probe in a second location, such as before your RODI unit to measure the quality of your feed water, or between your pre-filters and the RO membrane, which will allow you to monitor and know when to change the pre-filters. Or you could place it between your RO membrane and your DI resin, monitor the membrane's life and know when to replace it. Connect the TDS meter to a green sense port on your control unit. From the status screen on your Hydros app, tap on the three horizontal dots to the right of the inputs label and select add new input. Tap on the plus symbol on the bottom right corner. Type in the name of your input and then tap create. Under type, select sense port. Under sense mode, select TDS. Under sense port, select the port number where you physically connected the TDS sensor. Safe range allows you to set the lowest and highest points of a safe range. If the reading falls outside the range, Hydros will notify you if you have enabled notifications below. Again, this only applies to the reading from TDS Probe 1. Offset allows you to digitally calibrate the TDS meter if needed. It applies to both probe one and probe two readings. Notifications allow you to tell the Hydros when to send a notification. You will receive notifications when the TDS reading is outside the safe range. After configuring the input, tap on the yellow bar at the bottom to upload your changes to the cloud and each Hydros device.